All right. Hi, Phil Poplinski, you're a practical app keto. Good to see you again. Um, this time I'm gonna give you a little bit more than just a technique itself. We'll start with a technique, it's one hand lapel grab. It's our lapel number two. But also what I wanna teach you in this aspect is what bar is. It's called body alarm reaction. Another way to look at it is, is that body's anatomical response. Okay, it's another way to look at it and get a better idea. It's how the body's going to be moving to a given stimuli. And all of us humans react the same way to a given stimuli to varying degrees. Okay? So the one hand lapel I'm going to give you right now is our number two. I call it down and back. So another thing about lapels is over the years I have somebody say, I say grab my lapel. And they'll grab me like this. Sometimes they'll grab with it turned up like this. I've had people reach out with their hand upside down and grab it like this. So you got to kind of feel what you have to begin with. This one's called down and back, okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trap this hand here so it can't go any place, and I'm going to strike on a point right on the inside of the elbow, right where the arm bends. Do you want to come up in here close real quick? I'm going to hit down on this location here this way. So it's called down and back. I'll come down and strike here, and then I'm going to come right back here and strike the back to there, right there on the side of the neck. Right below the ear, right in the middle of the neck, take this bone of pain and stick it straight in there. Okay? Now, try the other hand, please. Depending on how I hit this, if I just come straight down this way, his head comes forward and his chin comes up, but he stays basically facing towards me. If I change the other hand, if I come at it this way and hit this location on the outside of the arm, there's a muscle right here. There's a muscle right here. If I hit this line on the outside of that muscle, again, I'm going to trap this and I hit it this way. Look at how far his body turned. Now he's turned 90 degrees, and now when I come back out here and I strike this, now my target is just below the skull, just below the skull, right where the skull bends. Again, I'm putting my bone of pain right there. That's what I'm striking. So you got two great targets tonight out of this. Right here at the base of the skull, hit with the bone of pain. Right here in the middle of the neck, below the ear, hit that with the bone of pain. You got it made. So basically the technique lapel was trap. You can you actually do this either hand. It's bilingual. <laughs> I can trap with this side, come down and back. I can trap with this hand, strike here and back. So it's basically down and back. Oh, did I mention sync? When I do this, I'm going to tap you a bit. Yes, sir. So when I tap, I'm going to come up in here. And when I come in and hit this and come back, he's going. Or, other hand, I don't even have to strike it. What if I take and do this? Do I have bar? Yeah, I got bar. Right? So, uh, reach up in here, same part. I kick it across here, grab me a handful of hair. Now what do I got? I probably that's a, a little overkill. Date. That's probably a little overkill for a lapel grab. I, I should, I'd, I'd be remiss in not telling you that that's probably going to get you in trouble. <laughs> so don't do that. All right, Phil Pavlinski, Practical Hapito, have fun.